the Oracle NVL2 function. The NVL2 function allows you to handle null values. It's an extension of the NVL function. The NVL2 function checks a value, but then can return something else if it is null. This is where it differs from the NVL function. As a result, NVL2 has three parameters, and NVL has two. The syntax of the NVL2 function includes several parameters. First, we specify the value to check whether it's null or not null. Then, we specify the value to return if the first value is not null. Finally, in the third parameter, we specify the value to return if the value to check is null. You can find out more about this function in the link provided in the description. And now we're going to look at some examples. For these examples, we're going to use this customers table here, which contains some null values. In the first example, we're going to look for null values of first name. If that's not null, we return first name, but if it's null, we specify no name provided. In this example, we can see that all cases have returned the first name. This is because none of them are null. In the second example, we're going to check for the first name. If it's null, return first name. If it's not null, return first name. If it's null, return null. This function won't actually do anything, but we're going to check what happens if we provide a null parameter. You can see that the values are the same. In the third example, we're going to check the employee's value. If it's not null, return employees, otherwise return zero. As you can see here, all the employee values are returned and the null value has been translated to zero. In the fourth example, you can see that the start date has been checked, which is a date type. If it's not null, return start date, but if it is null, return the 1st of January 2000. You can see that all the values have been loaded, except for this value here. The null value has been translated to 1st of January 2000. The last example is where we translate the value to two different strings. We're going to check the employee's value for null. If it's not null, we want to see has some employees. But if it's null, we want to see the word zero. You can see in this employee check column, we've got the word has some employees here. But in this value here, where we have a null value, it's translated it to zero. This is the main difference of the NVL2 function. You're allowed to specify a different value to return.